wow, the artist uses painterly brushwork as still life, but then subverts the entire meaning of the piece by placing it in a coffee shop. These pieces were obviously inspired by Monet's own work during the Impressionist movement. And this piece uses the reflections in the water to cause the reviewer to reflect on themselves and nature at the same time. Oh, hello there. I'm Bill Johns, the Art History Mon. Bill Johns, the Art History Mon. I'm at Galleria degli Uffizi in Florence, Italy, looking at Fra Filippo Lippi's painting Madonna and Child with Two Angels. This painting was completed by Lippi sometime between 1460 and 1465 during the early days of the Renaissance. First, let's look at how Lippi re envisioned the image of a halo. In most other paintings at the time, halos were depicted as solid looking golden objects. So shiny. But here, Lippi takes Mary's halo and thins it out into a narrow outline. In fact, if the painting were given just a quick glance, you might not even notice it. Wow. Perhaps the most radical way Lippi changed the art game was the tone of the scene he painted, playful and humorous as opposed to prior Madonna and Child portrayals that were serious, solemn, unrealistic, and stone-faced. Pieces like Theotokos and Child between St. Theodore and George incited the viewer to contemplate eternity and their personal salvation. Another way Lippi strayed from tradition was the inclusion of a painted frame. It creates the appearance that the figures are coming out at the viewer. This bold new concept of subject matter overlapping painted frame would echo throughout art history through many pieces in the Renaissance later on. In fact, Fra Filippo Lippi's paintings actually helped him out a lot later in life. It's a me, Fra Filippo Lippi, the greatest Byzantine with a brush, Masaccio 2.0. It would be great if my wife recognized my genius and I didn't have to uh, kidnap her. Whoa, uh, let's just keep it on your work. Let's not talk about your creepy history with women. Um, could you uh, give me some context around this piece, though? Ah, uh, yes. It was uh, 1437, and I was under commission of Cosimo de' Medici to create Madonna and Child with Two Angels. Now, as an artist, he expected me to sit in my studio and finish up my work as soon as possible, but I am Fra Filippi. I have to be me. I was able to escape despite his locking me in there, thanks to some scissors and bed sheets, because I have various other hobbies and habits I must pursue in order to be inspired and to create. Uh, but it's important that society recognize that and uh, not to keep artists in cages anymore. Well, uh, yeah, Fra Filippo Lippi, in the end, he was a very influential artist from his free-spiritedness to his unique painting styles. In fact, he actually influenced many painters in the future in the Renaissance, like Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Donatello, and even Michelangelo. This has been Bill Jones, the Art History Mom, and I'll see you guys next time.